You can see a physical picture. You can talk about it for hours. Ukaha, there is so it is also in spiritual. Ukaha, and like this, the Arizal of the Arizal. Be'et Shina at the time of sleep, Shabbat on Shabbat, but Sarayim. The Arizal went to sleep one Shabbat in the afternoon. Ra, and he saw. But Parshat Balak Ubilam, it happened to be Parshas Balak. He called it Balak and Bilam. She'im, he saw, the, ba- the Baal Shem Tov saw, in whatever, in, in, in five minutes, in ten minutes, She'im, that if Yitzarech, you would need, L'saperzot, if you would try to explain what he saw in this half an hour, however long it was, Hayat Sarich, the, the Arizal said about himself, Hayat Sarich, it would be necessary, I'll say on this, Zman, the time, Pei Shana, Constant speaking for patient. What's patient? One year. No. 80 years. Pay is 80. You with me, Borat? You see? Yeah. Pay is 80. Aleph is 1. Base is 2. Yud is 10. I in is 70. Pay is 80. The, the Arizal said that if I would have to explain. In order to explain what I saw on this Shabbos, it would take me 80 years. Now, the, he wasn't trying to impress people. To speak. Explain. To say what he saw, it would take 80 years. Why? Lefi, because she he saw mehut hadavar, the essence of the thing. He saw the essence. Vekain yihye, and so will be open the way, halimud of teaching of the Melech HaMashiach. What's the Melech HaMashiach going to do? He's not just going to be a great person, he's going to do big miracles. That also could be. And he's not just going to be tremendously smart and knock everybody over with his knowledge and everything. No, Melech HaMashiach is going to teach us to see godliness. Sheyilma that he will teach Baderich in a way Ria of seeing. And that's what the Rebbe said a lot of times. Open your eyes and you'll see Mashiach is here. What does it mean, open your eyes? It means recognize. Start to see. Recognize. Start to begin. That's the whole idea of the Melech HaMashiach. That the Melech HaMashiach is going to start people seeing Ken yeh, Melech HaMashiach, right. Shilma, that he will teach, but there are in the way of seeing. Lochin, therefore, he may behold who he, the Mashiach, Yochal, will be able. L'se'et, to bear, to, what do you say, to control. Call a riboy, all of this multitude, she az, that's going to be then. Mashiach is going to teach everybody, even those people who are raising the raising of the dead. Billions and billions of people. He's even going to teach the non-Jews about the ways of God. The whole world will be filled. The Rambam says the whole world will only be occupied in knowing God. Just like now, the whole world is only occupied in egotism and doing what feels good. As In the future, people will only be occupied in one thing, in knowing God. God is creating the world. People will only be occupied in helping the Creator make the world a world, a good place. That's why Mashiach will be able to bear so many people. Because Mashiach will not be an individual. He won't be coming just from himself. The Mashiach will just be bringing over the awareness of God to the world. Sight. People will see. Instead of people seeing the Mashiach, oh, there he is, the man. Right? That's him. That's not Judaism. That's the, the, one of the religions that tried to take over Judaism. This man, he is the most, what are they talking about? Right? This man is a, the whole thing of Mashiach is that he's going to make people see God. And people will only worship God. People will only care about God. God himself. Right? God personally, God, Hashem. So people won't, Mashiach is not going to direct everybody to himself. People, Mashiach is going to direct everyone to the creator of the universe. And that's why everyone is going to want, all the Jews will want to do the Torah. All the non-Jews will do the seven Noahide commandments because they'll want to 
do what God says. I want to be connected to God. Zehu, that's what it means. Torah mi that's what it means. The Torah. From me comes out. That's what it means. The Torah will come out from me. Not that there's going to be a new Torah, but she got led. They will be revealed. Be Torah in the Torah, the Achshavah now. Pirush Chadash, a new meaning. I'll be according to. Has sowed the secret. Teshar Hanun of the 50th gate. That we'll see in the Torah a new seeing, a new feeling of what the Torah is. The secret. The mystery. According to Al P. Al P. There's only one letter missing. Al P. According to. Has sowed the secret of the 50th gate. In other words, the Torah will not just be a regular book like every other book in the library, a, re- a religious book that will teach us how to get into heaven. The Torah will be God's presence in the world, will feel Hashem's presence in the world. Right? Like the Havdil, like I said before, Elvis Presley's pen. Right? It's not just a regular pen. This is a pen. Who? This is, you feel different. A person will learn La Havdil to separate from a million separations, but people will learn the Torah, you'll feel. Hashem, this is so amazing, this is so wonderful, so happy. O Torah zu, and in this Torah, Yidgale, the Torah of the Mashiach, Yidgale, Yidgalu will be revealed. Ta'ame amitzvot, the reasons for the commandments, Kamo like Shapirush Rashi, like Rashi explains, Al Pasuk on the Pasuk, Yashkeni minishikos pio. He will kiss me from the kisses of his mouth. Umelech Hamashiach and the Melech Hamashiach Yore. There's a passage right in the beginning of Shira Shirim in the Song of Songs. Who will kiss me with the kisses of his mouth? The Melech of Mashiach, the King Messiah, will cause God. To kiss everybody when they learn the Torah. What do you learn the Torah? With your mouth. When you learn the Torah, you'll feel that you are saying the words of God. God will put His mouth on your mouth. He will kiss me with the kisses of His mouth. The Torah, we will feel the godliness in, in saying the words of the Torah. O Melech HaMashiach, the Melech HaMashiach, Yoreh, will teach. Ed Bnei Adam, all humanity, all humanity, Lelechet, to go, walk, to go, but darky in the ways of God. What are these ways? She aimed that they are darachim chadashim, new ways. New ways, she'd galu, that will, re, will be revealed, but pirusha chadash, in the new meaning of the Torah, al pi, according to Haso, the secret of Sharanun, of the 50th gate. So just like the Frenchmen went crazy for Napoleon and the Germans went crazy for Yamach Shamo, right? They, they went berserk. All of a sudden they became different. You go to Germany now, in general, the Germans, they can't believe that they did this, that there was a holocaust, that they went and just killed people. They killed Russians, 20 million Russians. They can't believe that they did it. They, 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 they themselves, they're ashamed. They did it. Once in a while there's some groups that stand up and say, we have to be proud. But generally speaking, it's forbidden to wear Nazi uh, emblems in America. And 60 years ago, it was, it was the big thing. You didn't have a flag, a Nazi flag. You were so happy to have a flag. What happened? One person changed everybody. Because that's what it's going to be in the time of the Mashiach. Lahavdil, for a different minute, the, the, the opposite side. All of a sudden, everybody's going to be different. The call of Giluim and all the revelations of Atsum, the powerful revelations of Elo, of these revelations. Okay, now we have a. Do you remember what was the original question in the Mimer? What was the original question? How is that was the second question, but there was the first question, right in the first line. By Adaber, Elohim is called the Varim Elo. Right? Why was the Torah given from the name Elohim? Right? Elohim. Elohim is the name of, of, of contraction and, and limitation. So it's now we're going to answer the question. All these great revelations, which are going to be in the future where we're going to feel God, we're going to feel the godliness. Not only in the world, but in the Torah, which is even greater. Call Hagiluim, 
all these revelations are atsumim, powerful revelations are elu, teluyim, depend, ba'avoda, in the service, the akshav of now. Ba'asaras, in removing, ha'alamos, the concealment, v'ha'asterim, and the, another word for concealment, and the, uh, the, uh, the hidings, the things which conceal and hide are the obstacles, huh? all the obstacles that there are now, whether they're obstacles from the outside or mostly the obstacles from the inside. Belimur Torah, in doing Torah, Bekium, and doing Misa Mitzvahs, the Mitzvahs. Right, nowadays you want to do Torah, you want to do Mitzvahs, there's always people that say, hey, what are you talking about? What do you have to do Torah for Mitzvahs? Look, we have the, 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 the Prime Minister of Israel. He does Torah, he does Mitzvahs. No, what are you talking about? You want to be a big, successful person? You don't need it. Einstein, the Torah of Mitzvahs. Forget it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Forget it. No, there's so many obstacles now to doing Torah of Mitzvahs, right? It's foolish. It's childish. What do you have to do? The Torah of Mitzvahs? Who even believes in God? All these things are, are, are obstacles. Are obstacles for doing the right thing? Nowadays, in order to make all these great revelations, it all depends on our power and our control, self-control. And our not listening to everybody, not trying to please everybody, but to do what's right. We have to use gvura. That's what it means. That's what it means. That Elohim, that the name of the, the Torah, the Torah comes from the name Elohim because the Torah is teaching us how to limit ourselves how to change ourselves, how to apply on ourselves force. Elohim is force. That's what it means, Vayedaber Elohim. Es kol adavorim elu that God, Elohim, said all these words, lemor, saying, Tamat and Torah, who is? Mishem Elohim was from the name Elohim. Why was it from the name Elohim? We, had all, we just finished the whole mind. We're talking about these great revelations and the big Aleph, which is from Bina, which is pleasure, which is the essence of God and the 50th gate and then the Yechid of the Nefesh. And all these things are going to be revealed. This is unlimited. It says, no, not so. Darem is who? Because the hint is to call a Giluim that all these revelations, Hayoter Gavoim, which are even the highest, Gam even, Hagiluim, the revelations. Ha'atzumim, the powerful, of B'yaz HaMashiach, Talui, depend, the Tuluim, depend, they all depend, Ba'avodas, in the service of God, Ha'asarat, of removing, Ha'alamot, the obstacles, Vesterim, and the concealments. All these things that conceal our true Jewish identity. The al the by means of, Ki, Hasari means to remove. And the word halamot vesteri means all the... The word halem means to conceal and to hide. But I just said obstacles. All the things that prevent us from getting excited about Torah and mitzvahs. The al that by means of. Ki um doing. Call a mitzvah, all, con, all the commandments. Van hagatova and having good conduct. Not, the thing is not just to be... <clears throat> Do the Torah of the mitzvahs. But to realize how much God loves you. The same way you should love other people. Don't be uptight. right? Don't be stingy. Hashem is giving you everything for free. Be nice to people. What's the problem? Yeah, there will be mizeh from this. Giloy atzom, a tremendous revelation. By means of our controlling ourselves. Eh, that's not so much fun. Come on. We thought that all you have to do is just, you know, go for it. Just be happy. And no, says the Rebbe, you have to do that, it's true, yes, but also you have to control yourself. What does it mean? You have to, that's how the whole time you starts off, right? You have to look at yourself like you're a Russia, but you can't look like too much like a Russia, or maybe you'll, right? you have to look at yourself like you're evil, but if you look too much, then you're going to get sad, but if you, don't look, if you don't do enough, you're not going to be happy. You have to find the middle way. But the fact is, you have to, a person has to control himself. You have to know how to use it, and how to, when to use it, but you have to use it. You have to remove all of the, don't think that whatever you do and whatever you feel and whatever you want is good. Hanagatova, yeah, there will be mizeh from this. Giloy atzom, a tremendous revelation. But be at the Mashiach and the coming of the Mashiach. Bim heira, quickly be amenu in our days. Amen. Let's just do the, the kitsur. Summary. Okay, Mr. Smith? Summary. Yavo'er was explained. 
the Baparshat that in the uh, what is it? The, the section of the Torah, Parshat, in the section of the Torah of the Korbanus that talks about the sacrifices. Neamar, it says, Aleph Zeira, a small Aleph, Vayikra, small Aleph. Lefi, because She'en, that there was not a Dayan yet. <clears throat> Why was the Aleph of Vayikra small? Because there was not yet, quote, Kemitzvat Ratzonecha, like the commandments the way you want, end quote. Huh? A Dayan, yet. It was not yet, right? I, did, I have not yet given you the money I owe you. Yet. Oh, well, but be as a Mashiach. When the Mashiach comes, Neymar, it says, Adam, quote, Adam, end quote. It says the word Adam, the Aleph with an Aleph Rav, so with a big Aleph. Hamore, which indicates... Al an hashlemus wholeness. The adam that a person yasi can grasp elokus godliness. Kamo like shemasig ata that a person grasps now. In yane olam things of the world the same way now as we get excited about money we understand money. We're going to understand and get excited about God. Period. O Mashiach and Mashiach, Shezacha, that he merited, merited, Liyachida, to the level of Yechida of the soul, the deepest level of the soul. The, the, how do you say, the, the point of godliness in your soul, the holy of holies in your soul. Mashiach, that he'll have this level, Yilmad, he will teach Torah, Im Kulam, with all of them. How can he teach millions and billions of people? Because Alimu, the teaching, he will be Pederich Ria, in a way of seeing. Ria Tamahut, seeing the essence of God. That's the purpose of Hasidut. The purpose of Hasidut is that you'll be able to see the godliness in yourself, in the world, and most especially in the Torah and in the commandments. That's why Hasidut is called the Torah of Mashiach. The Haim and they are. Hadorachim Chadashim, the new ways, Shiit Galu, that will be revealed. The calls then, all this, Nitan was given by Matan Torah. That in Matan Torah, Shaha called that everything, Talui, depended, I, I'm the, at Matan Torah. Period. Shaha called, and everything, Talui, depends, all these great ideas that we just said, depends. Not that God is going to do it all. No. Because if so, then the Torah would have been given with the name Yudke Vavke. The God will do the whole thing. it will change everybody. No. And it also doesn't depend on Mashiach. The Mashiach is going to do the whole thing. He'll do it all. What do I have to do? Wait. No. Everything depends Ba'avodah in the service to Akshav of now. Ba'asarat in removing Ha'alamot, the obstacles. Or in simple language, changing your personality. Controlling yourself a little bit. Controlling yourself, forcing yourself to do good, and forcing yourself not to do Forcing yourself to be more happy, to be more positive, and forcing yourself not to be so egotistical. Loche and negative. Loche and therefore, but it all depends on us. We're doing it not just to perfect our personalities and to be more popular, but also we're doing it in order to bring Mashiach. Loche and therefore, Matan Torah. That's why Matan Torah comes, Mishem Elohim. From the name Elohim, namely power, we have to change, force ourselves. Good, Borach. Yeah. Tomorrow, God willing, we'll go over the Mimer. Okay? Thank you for coming, everybody. What's this thing about the 58? It says that there's Nun Shari Sha'are Bina.